Great rising. Uh, time to wake the fuck up. Do with these puppies. Be puppy mom. After I take my shower, I guess. At least wash my box first before I deal with anybody else. Brush my teeth. Get my day started. Yeah, I wake up like this. No filters, no makeup. They're just hair. And my beautiful piercings. This eczema shit, y'all. I gotta take better care of my skin. Um, The past month and stuff, I've been like really stressing. And on this party, party boat situation. And so now, it's time for me to hydrate because Natasha Tori. Cannot walk outside around the city, get on a stage or anything like that with dry ass skin. So my message to you guys this morning, again, again and always will be self-care. Self-care is important. And when you learn self-care and when you learn self-love, you will love yourself and you will attract the things in your life that you need to attract. Now, on to the attraction note. It's not always about what you attract all the time, but it is also about what you accept. Because in the past two weeks, I have been meditating on um, my solar plexus and my sacral chakra. And I have developed the most divine, instinctive um, confidence and self-love and choosing my life and knowing what's for me. It's about the choices that you make in life and also what you attract. So they both play hand in hand, but also, so be mindful of what you're attracting and what you're choosing to accept in your life. That is the message that I'm saying this morning. And um, you'll begin to accept things. Now I'm talking about people coming by, right? Like when you start to vibrate so high and you have that love about yourself, like you attract so many people. And I was trying to figure out what in the heck is going on? Like, what is this? Like when you start embracing yourself and you start living in your full truth and you start doing the things that you want to do. <clears throat> like when you go past someplace and you get those ideas of like, oh, I want to do this or I want that. I need, I want this. Do it. I guarantee you, you'll be a hundred times happier. Make yourself smile today. Just do that. If you ain't doing it for yourself, Please do it for Natasha Tori. Please do it for the betterment of our all, of all our lives. Like, you know, do it for yourself first. But if right now you cannot do it for yourself, do it for the vibration of the earth. Do it for other people. Love yourself. Love yourself so that we learn how to love each other on this earth and this planet. Like, just do that this morning. And while I'm reflecting this morning on... Or how I'm going to present myself in the best ma in the best manner I can. I want you all out there, while this world is opening up, to be safe and be vigilant, and also remain vigilant <laughs> because there's so much going on. Um, everything is not always what it seems, and you control your life. Um. Just find things out for yourself. Never listen to anybody else. Like, you won't never learn anything. I've been raised in Christianity. I have been raised in Islam. I've tried Buddhism. I'm still in a Buddhism kind of mind state because it, inquire, I'm sorry, it requires meditation. It requires self-love. It requires discipline. It requires making choices. It requires controlling your mind. Yes. Um, I do pick up principles of Christianity. I do pick up principles of, of, of um, Islam with fasting. I do. All those things go hand in hand. They all came from the same place. So it's not always about what you know. It's how you use it. 
make sure whatever tool you whatever tool is given to you you're using it and know where it comes from know where the storyline comes from we can't keep living in this dark light if you understand what I'm saying um just raise your vibrations this morning be conscious about what you're doing in this day. Be conscious about your reactions. Be conscious about your actions. Because it's sometimes not always about most of our actions. Because some of us are really genuine, wholehearted, loving, harmonious people. And we can be surrounded by people with such low vibration that it dulls our own. But just don't, don't. Don't give in to their bullshit. Be aware of your reactions. Of somebody's actions. Make you feel insecure. Make you feel uncomfortable. That is okay. Why? Because I always say if anybody feels uncomfortable, let them be uncomfortable. I'm going to love me. Janelle Monet says it. Even if it makes others uncomfortable, I will love who I am. Love who you are today. Love who you are this morning. Love who you are forever. Um, and again, be aware of what you're attracting, what you're choosing, how you're acting, and how you're reacting to things in this day. Because we are, the planet's in need. Like, your brothers and sisters are in need of that. In order to for us all to heal, we have to heal ourselves first. We have to go to the root. The root. That is the key word of the day, too. Root. We have to go to the root. And sometimes that root can be your own self. You can be your own monster. You can be your own demon. You can be your own evil. You can be your own hindrance. You can self-sabotage yourself. And some people, and I'm speaking about myself, some people have went through life not, not, not receiving, you know, not being able to feel um love because love was not taught to me because love was not within people so love was not able to be given to me especially a young melanated um goddess of color honey it was not able to be given to me because this planet was not taught that so with that i have to teach you i have to share with you and i'm a little emotional because that came from a, a deep place like dig deep go to your root know why who you are know why you do the things you do like some people don't so now they have trouble trying to find love trying to connect with people trying to um, you know learning how to communicate like I have the worst communication issues good morning sister Kaneen and no shade I have the worst communication issues and sometimes I find myself running away from people rather than trying to communicate because Communication is the key to life. The TLC says that too. Communication is the key to us. And so therefore, if we're ever going to make it anywhere in this plane with anybody, any relationship we have, we have to have communication. So if anybody's causing you to react horribly today, take some time, center yourself, remember who you are, remember what they are and what they know and, and what you know, and compare that and you make that decision. I'm not saying go around and be a punk. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying go around and be a doormat. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying don't defend yourself. I do not condone violence, but I'm not saying not to defend yourself or to react in a violent way. What I'm telling you is be mindful of your actions and your reactions and the consequences. See, now we got a new keyword. <laughs> the consequences that follow the reaction because that consequence gonna come with a reaction. And then that reaction gonna come with a reaction because we are living, we are we are constant energy. Energy never ceases to move. So therefore, when you call one thing happen, the next thing react. That react to that react, you see? Because a react is still an action. And so, quote unquote, here we go, Good good example. Just previous example of react um, action causing a reaction, which causes another reaction. These Black Lives Matter movements, how we have our own community 
and listen, I'm all the community. I'm I'm brown. I'm melanated. I'm indigenous. I'm a woman. I was born male. I'm a woman of trans experience. And guess what? People still view me as a black man. Guess what? I've, I'm all of you. I am all of you in one. Guess what? And you know what? They out here causing us to diversify each other and to split apart and fight amongst each other. Because in the middle of this protest, prime example, we have a young black trans woman who accidentally tapped somebody's car and now she's going in the store because y'all know her tea, y'all going y'all gonna put her out and that's the problem. That's the real problem of the matter because this was anybody else, y'all wouldn't have reacted that way. She goes in the store to mind her business. I'm pretty sure y'all could have resolved that another way. 15, 20 men, cisgender black men who supposed to protect us, women, our culture, who's supposed to protect our people, we're supposed to protect one another. Y'all went into the store and you and you and you you have caused trauma and pain to a young black woman, regardless if she's cisgender or trans. You have dragged her outside in the middle of a Black Lives Matter protest, and you have begun to have her um, assaulted by cisgender women outside and you think that she's not going to defend herself and when she begins now you 15 16 niggas want to jump on her y'all really thought that was fair and y'all really thought that that was cute now look at the reaction the reaction is in this black lives matter movement now we have the trans black lives matter movement now we have diversity understand understand and listen well now we have this diversity and we can't continue to have this. We can't allow them to do this test anymore. They've already done it by the races. Just stop falling into the trap and, and just stop, like, lowering your vibrations. Take some time to self-reflect and self-love. If you truly love yourself, you would love a, another person of another quality or another... Um, lifestyle as y'all say because we all live the same lifestyle I repeated this and I've said this before we all live the same lifestyle we all shit eat live breathe work survive we all have the same lifestyle but when it comes to another person's choices in life that is not your choice to go matter of fact it can be your choice but that is not your that's not your your that's not your job that's not your you're not the person who reigns supreme to say what a person is or who a person can be or who deserves to be treated equally because what y'all saying is black trans women don't deserve to be treated equally i don't deserve to be treated equally so then y'all want y'all think that like this is a good message to people like me people that have been hurt all our lives you think this is a good message when we already see black people black men black women we see babies being shot and now we come to mind our business and live our lives and maybe possibly also support the whole movement and you bash us too that that is inhumane that is hypocritical that's is vile that is anger that is hurt that is some shit you personally got to go deal with deep down inside as why a black woman of trans experience can't walk down the street and be her loving self or uh, why a black trans man of color can't go outside and be respected and be respected he fell right into the stereotype as well as regular black men cisgender black men and was murdered by the police see how we all are the same we all live the same lifestyle and yet here we go now, here y'all jumping on and fighting on us and stuff. What the fuck message is it that you're getting across to the world if, if there is one? Because there's no unity. There's no unity. There's never no unity in anything that any of us are doing these days. And I find that even with myself, I only have a select handful of people that are in my corner when it comes to things in my world that circulate or when we are, are reciprocating things to one another. Like, I don't have people in my corner nobody supports me and that go on the grander scale of nobody will support one another in this mo in this movement because we got people with 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 educated minds going out there with the right actions and then you have people coming out there with these 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 ulterior motives in their actions causing y'all to react in another way that wasn't the main grand plan and to blame you and now all this chaos don't look good
it don't look good. And if this is what it is, if this is, if there is a COVID or whatever the freak in case may be, if there is all this stuff going on, if there is a, a um a, a race war going on, what don't y'all think this is the time we all need to be standing together? Don't you think that? Don't you think that you go need like just imagine like uh, most of you people out there don't know me, right? And just imagine all the knowledge that I'm sitting here speaking and telling. People won't even want to accept that sometimes if they knew my tea. But, you know, I don't go outside and present, oh, yeah, I'm I'm a trans woman. Hello. No. I present like the culture. Present, honey. I'm me. I'm real as rain. You want to call me a man today? Hmm, whatever. You want to call me a woman today? Hmm, don't matter. I'm still Natasha Tori. I'm still who I am. So you can say whatever you want to say out your mouth about me. But it don't bother me because I love myself. I know where I come from. I know who I am. I know that we are all men, okay? Man and woman. And some people in between, okay? Man, man. So whatever man you want to call me today, make sure it's woman first. But I don't give a fuck. Because it's not going to disrespect me because I'm still who I am. That's two-spirited. I embrace my motherfucking self today. And I'm going to love myself today. I loved myself yesterday. I love myself tomorrow and forthgoing. And I want all of y'all to do the same thing. And, and remember what I said this morning. With these seven viewers or eight, nine, ten, whatever viewers coming in and out. If anybody has heard anything positive today from Natasha Tory, I want y'all to like this. Please share this live. Because this message do need to be heard. I didn't just put it up here for your ears only. And if you it was if it touched you, please, yes. I don't just wake up and talk for myself. I wake up, I get connected to my higher self, and I receive downloads and I speak what's on my mind, whether that's a song or getting up here and sharing my voice. I do it because it has to be done. So that's my action. What's y'all reaction? Reaction is on you. That's your choice. Um, this morning, I just want to send lots of love and positive energy your way. I want to make sure that we do a, 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 um, that we do, oh my God, I've lost my word. Affirmation this day right now. Affirmation being, I love who I am and I will always love who I am. You can say it with me. I love who I am, and I will always love who I am. And ain't nothing you can do about it. I love who I am, and I will always love who I am, and there's nothing you can do about it. There you go. Live in your power, babies. And to all my young women out there, and to especially my young women of trans experience that are color, remember that your big sis, the one and only Natasha Tory. She love you. She loved you. She's out here fighting for you. She's rooting for you. Um, she's trying to be the best. She is being the best her she can be. She is living in her best divine truth, her best life at this moment. And love you. So that love I'm sending to everyone. If you're hurting this morning, if you're going through some trials and tribulations, if you want to kill yourself this morning, honey, don't. You have too much to live for. Now, what if I killed myself when I was 15 and 13 and and um and 10 and 16 and 17? What if I killed myself? I didn't. I got away. I went to love, what I thought was love. I searched for love, and guess what? I found it, and the journey that it took me to find it. I don't want y'all to go through. So, if I can share my stories, if I can share my wisdom, if I can be a prevention in this world, if I can be a message to my younger sisters and brothers that are coming forth this day. If I could be a positive role model and motivation in your life, that is what my job is to do. And that's what I am going to do. And I know there's somebody out there watching. 
and, and just like you don't believe that you deserve anything you're not following your heart you're not following your goals live your best life and be the best you that you can be <clears throat> nobody's gonna do that for you they're not nobody's gonna save you there is no Batman there is no Superman the super Hero is you. That's yourself. Save yourselves today. Mm. And hell, all that good ass prana. And hell, all that good life. And make sure you maintain. And, 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 and you're going to project all the love, positive energy that you're going to need to propel yourself forward. But yeah, I'm about to go wash my temple. I'm about to go clean. Purge this body. I'm going to purge that diet. Don't stay low. Get up high. Don't stay go. Anyway. That's what I'm going to do. Purge my diet. Purge my body. Cleanse myself back. Get my skin back intact. Honey, drink my water. Hydrate. Eat good things. Take my black seed oil. Take my olive oil. Put my body together, honey. Because... Cellular regeneration is real. But with that, I love you all again. Peace out. I don't know how long I was on here, but I got to go. I got to post this to Insta and stuff like that. But I love you all again. And those of you that don't know how to love yourself, look at me.